Right now, it comes down to Tampa, Florida, Carolina, or the New York Rangers. Who would you like to play? Personally, I, I wouldn't mind crossing over and playing in against that other division. I would rather play the Rangers or the Hurricanes. I'm not saying they're poor teams or they're weak or anything like that, but um, I just the Boston Bruins have our number. They're one of the best teams in the world the last couple of years, and I don't think they're going to screw up playoffs like they did last time. And the Florida Panthers are just absolutely built for playoffs. And I don't think they screw around in playoffs. And I think they're probably the toughest opponent in the league you could face in the first round. For those reasons, I would like to go play against a Carolina or a New York. Not that they're not, not that they're eat cakewalks or anything. I just think we match up against them a little better. And, uh, you know, mentally, I don't think that they have our number as much. Yeah, that's fair. And and I think, again, the Leafs are not in a position where they get to pick and, and pinpoint who they want to play in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. But if you're polling me, somebody who covers this team, of those four teams I mentioned, it's the New York Rangers I'd want to play, which I think is really peculiar because they're the first team to clinch a playoff spot, which they did on Tuesday. But I think from a matchup standpoint, the Leafs match up really, really well against the New York Rangers for some reason. Like every time they play them, they play them strong. Whereas you look at the Boston Bruins, you look at the Florida Panthers, the Carolina Hurricanes, as we've seen the last little while, it's just a tough matchup. It's a tough matchup for for one reason or another when it comes to the Maple Leafs. So I think that's probably my answer. I think it would be the New York Rangers I'd want to face in the first round. Well, it's pretty possible, right? It's, uh, yeah. I don't know, depending on what, yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it's making it, uh, it's making it more interesting. That's for sure. I'm going to be watching, you know, closer now because it matters and like, just on yesterday's show, we were talking or one of the shows recently about like this time of year is kind of boring. The points don't really matter. Now, all of a sudden, it's like some big imp implications, but it's not implications of like, oh, my God, we could fall out of a playoff spot. We're fall We're fighting for our life. It's kind of odd because like, let's say there is, you know, a common agreement. You know, I don't think it would be spoken by any stretch of the imagination in that locker room, but. Let's just say the vibe is kind of like, you know, this isn't the worst thing. We're kind of sliding down to a playoff spot. You know, we got, you know, guys resting, guys out of the lineup. We're not rushing anyone back. We're, you know, messing around with goaltenders. Uh, like Austin Matthews isn't on the ice where um, for pregame skate today, I, I think that would probably, in my mind, just be because it's an optional skate, but we can get to that later. But uh, there's reason to like not really put the hammer down right now, which is just an odd place to be. It's it's just really weird that it, there's almost like incentive if you follow that narrative that it's not the worst thing in the world to play out of division um, to be at this point in the season and kind of be like, yeah, no, no real reason to go hammer down right now, guys. It's odd. I don't really love it, to be honest, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's fair. And and Michael writes in uh, going at us a bit just to start the show. How in the hell can you guys think the New Jersey games was meaningless? Uh, the Lightning are two points behind and breathing down their neck. I still... I'm riding with that. I don't think the games, Matt, like I just don't care who they play in the first round. I know this team is completely capable of beating anyone. I know reading social media last night after Tampa wins that game, it's like, oh, I'd rather the Leafs go through the Metro anyways. Uh, they're going to play who they're going to play. I think they can beat any, they're capable of beating any team. Having said that, I still think they find a way to solidify third in the Atlantic division. I mean, the, you know, their fate's in their own hands, as mentioned on yesterday's show. They play Florida, I think, a couple more times. They play Tampa a couple more times. Like, the Leafs will figure out what they want to do and how they want to play and who they're going to dress down the stretch, and they shouldn't deviate from that game plan. But it's also a thing where I think they will solidify their, their place in the standings here. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, those games against Tampa, those games against Florida, they're massive now. Like, not, like, detrimental, but they're massive in the implications of who's playing who and what the shuffle's going to do just basically because of, you know, a little bit of a skid that they've been on and the heater that Tampa's been on. So, no, I mean, they're all good hockey teams. The Maple Leafs are a good hockey team. Rangers, Carolina, Boston, Florida, Tampa, they're all really good hockey teams, and they've all had – you know, levels of success and you're going to play one of them. It's going to be a hard series, no question. But, you know, when we're looking at it with more of a fine tooth comb and you're going through it and the history and, and the matchups and the strengths and weaknesses of each team, it's natural to start going, well, who would we rather play now that we're, you know, we've had our eyes on Boston forever. You know, it just looked like it was pretty guaranteed and things kind of shuffle and square up and get closer. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, shit, what happens if we did face 
you know, Carolina? What happens if we did face, you know, I, I think it'll, I don't know, man. I think there's a pretty good chance we could play New York Rangers. Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. We got long form interviews, we got clips, you got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget, you can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching.